Valid longer Luca, the referee there, just delivering the final instructions to Albert Ramirez and Julio da Cruz. Not the biggest at 81 kilos, La Cruz, but you just won't see many fleeter of foot than this man is at the weight. In fact, there aren't many in history at this weight, really, that have moved better than La Cruz, but Ramirez started with a nice long left hand. La Cruz, not traditionally a hard puncher, speed and timing his dictation of distance and the pace of the contest really is something to behold at times Stop! Box. Previous encounter. Sometimes the worst thing to do is chase the crews, and the best thing to do is bring him into your space and right on cue. Terrific counter from Ramirez. It's a stiff right hand jab. Cruz walks straight onto it. He doesn't go down very often. Put down by Britain's Joshua Barazzi in the World Championship quarter final. The left hook that time. I think the problem with the Cuban style is whilst they're on the bike and they're dictating the pace from the outside all very well, but the hands are so low. If a man like the Cruz is caught flush, he has to take the full brunt of it on the chin. Ramirez again with a nice counter. La Cruz continues to posture with the hands at hip level. They made to miss, counted again. Well, the referee ruled a slip, but goodness me, that was flush connection with that right jab. And Ramirez has stamped his mark on this contest early. And usually for him, the Cruz's range of timing just seems to be miles off at the moment. He's the one being made to miss. Ramirez with a grin on his face. He has started really sharply indeed. Has to get the win, remember. The Venezuelans 2-0 down at present. Cruz just looking a little bit baffled. In this opening two and a half minutes. Ramirez almost mimicking the style of his opposite man. Look at the mirror images of each other, Southpaw and Orthodox, although that was a stiff right hand from the Cruz, right on the bell, good finish from the Cuban. Not enough, surely, to give him any weight on the judges' scorecards. Ramirez, a couple of terrific left-hand counters, a couple of right jabs as well, walks the Cruz onto, they're what put him down. So look at the action replay to see... Is La Cruz. He's got to find his timing and range. Let's have a look here. He steps in there. And that right hand, almost like a hook over the top. Perhaps knocked him off balance. That is the danger when you do step in. And there we go. That one there was certainly a right hand jab. Landed as La Cruz stepped in. There it is. No doubt about that whatsoever. So the crew is adopting that familiar, almost Cassius Clay-like jog around the outside of the ring to his left-hand side. There been many men, you can say, at light heavyweight that moved much like Clay since the 60s. The Cruz would certainly be one of them. Three World Championship gold medals to add to that Olympic title in Rio in the summer. There's no doubting this man's credentials. Just occasionally, though. Hey, chicos, he can just get a little bit lax. Such 
good reflexes, such good footwork, but the hands are so, so low. <laughs> Landed a nice stiff jab on Ramirez that time, though. Ramirez now doing the hunting, and this really is where La Cruz comes into his own when he is against the ropes, and he can bring his opponent onto shots, make them miss, and counter. Ramirez working hard not to get drawn into that kind of contest, trying to bring La Cruz forward. On a few occasions he has lost La Cruz, hey. that is what the opponents have done, they've managed to bring him forward, get him out of that backpedaling posture that he's adopting as we speak. So difficult to beat a man in his own game. It's one two combination from Ramirez there. Speaking to Joshua Buatzi from the British Lionhearts last season, he said the thing about the Cruz is his movement and lateral direction, change of direction is so unreadable. One minute he'll be moving left, the next he'll switch and move to the right, and there's no tail at all. And that makes him a very hard man to cut off and pin down. And now he's starting to find his timing and range. And there's some showboating now. The referee is going to have words. Box. Ramirez now, a little short with the jab. It's turned into a bit, of a, a bit of a chess match between these two. Ramirez desperately trying to bring the Cruz onto the counter. Landed the long right hand in the short right hook. I think the legs came together though. Those at the back of the stands might have thought we'd seen an emphatic knockdown, but it was uh, anything but. As it happened, that was better though from Ramirez now running to try and cut that gap off. No! And the Cruz just enjoys it, doesn't he? He loves the dance, he loves the posturing, he loves the chase. Ramirez, try as he might to not be drawn into that sort of contest when you're against a man of La Cruz's cal calibre. The tall order would be an undersell. Moments of success, though, for Ramirez. A bit of blood from the mouth of the Venezuelan. Oh, stiff left hook that time from the Cruz. Walked Ramirez onto a couple of those in the round. He went down. That was when the feet and the legs of the two boxers came together. has not had it all his own way thus far but just glimpses being shown as this contest progresses as to why he is such a crucial part in Cuba's recent Pan-American supremacy as a right hand to the body off the jab Ramirez coming back aggressively and the home boxer treading a fine tight rope between applying pressure Trying to still box his way in, bring the Cuban onto those nice counter punches that were working early on. So hard to read those shots coming from down by the hip. Completely out of the peripheral vision, stiff right hand from La Cruz, bang on the button, and down goes Ramirez. I don't think he's particularly hurt, more stunned than anything, beautiful timing on the right hand. Inch-perfect precision from the Cuban. Now he starts to take things up a gear. Can Ramirez respond? Minute 30 to go in round number three.
Netherlands as low as they could possibly be from the cruise. Dances around to his left hand side. Now resets, ready to engage. to his eternal credit, still trying to box smart, not turning this ugly just yet. Just missed with the long left hand. We bring the Cruz onto another one of those stiff counter shots that we saw in the first round. The Cruz now doing the hunting. counter right hand there from the Cruz short right hand on the inside just briefly buckled the legs of Ramirez both men desperate to trigger each other off neither taking the bait as the bell goes at the end of the third round finding jab from the Cruz to distract the eye line and the right hand came straight down the middle against the southpaw the angles are such that if you are caught a little bit square with a shot like that it's going to set you back onto your heels and that's exactly what it did so uh, one 10 8 round there two 10 nines from the judges Unbelievably, still two rounds to go. Feels as if we should be into the last round already. An exchange of jabs, of jabs, as the Cruz gets his foot on the outside of Ramirez. to right hand from the Cruz mentally draining as well as physically just constantly resetting shifting from left to right I think you've got him pinned down suddenly away he goes lovely counter left hand from Ramirez that time walk the Cruz onto it Such an awkward style. It's lovely, long right hands, sharp and straight from the reigning Olympic champ. The crew is just content to pot shot his way through the second minute of round number four. Ramirez now just a little bit flat-footed for the first time in the contest. Is he starting to tire? And the Cruz has just got the look of a man that could box at this pace all day long. Just looks as if he's enjoying it in there. No agarres, no agarres, no agarres, no agarres. To breathe when he wants to, no comes forward when he wants to. 
Stop. I just feel as if everything that he does is at Stop. his own will and determination. And that is absolutely key when scoring these rounds. But Ramirez started very fast indeed. To this goes, the ball is playing into the hands of the visitor, Julio La Cruz. So round four across the board to La Cruz and that puts him ahead going into round number five and his corner will be looking for discipline from him. No showboating, no mistakes. Three minutes of concentration and he can close this one off for the Cuba Domadores and close that gap on the Colombia Heroicos at the top of Group A. where the Cruz can be so good just shutting down a contest when he is ahead there is one value there but the Cruz responded with one of his own it's going to be a negative couple of minutes just the occasional pot shot you feel and enough to do enough just a bit of uh, tape fraying and a white glove of the Cruz kick off a bit of frustration Chico, from favor. Ramirez, understandably too, he knows he's got to chase this now. Stop. So difficult when your opponent is essentially Go. in shutdown mode on the outside. So Ramirez trying to take the impetus, still trying to intelligently work his way in. Made to miss with the jab. from the Cruz that time. So the way the Cruz just using those foot feints to try and push Ramirez back and actually just to give himself a little bit more space to move in fact. shoes on can Ramirez draw him into one last confrontation 30 seconds to go in the final round lands a long left hand that was good for Ramirez just take the perfect balance of brains and brawn to beat a man like Julio La Cruz Ramirez has had a pretty good go at it evidence tonight of Michael Cosmo of all the facets that make this man so difficult to beat. Ramirez, his body language is one of a man conceding an early defeat. And if it is the case, the Domadores have closed this one out with ease this evening. 